a lady in spirit. I have seen somebody in this room. Take it away, I want it to end. Oh, my head. There was a lot of heartache. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's grieving. The rescue mediums are investigating this historic mansion in the heart of Whitby, where those seeking a bed and breakfast aren't the home's only visitors. There have been some unusual things happening in this house. I have seen somebody in this room. One night, I was alone in the house. I heard the piano. Guests that we've had in the past were awakened by a presence at the foot of their bed. I really did have to tell the presence of, of whatever it was to leave. A model T of perfection. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. It's a bit bumpy yeah. from hell. <laughs> Jackie and Allison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. I love the hand signals. He puts his hand out the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's no the window. <laughs> the rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the location has been kept secret until now. OK. Although days earlier, they had some uncanny premonitions. A lady in spirit who's been seen, she was of period closing. One day I was laying on the sofa here and I could feel somebody covering me over it. I saw a man, I felt she was quite a cruel man. I had seen a gentleman sitting on the sofa. He was going off to kill. I could see bodies and bones everywhere and skulls. Electrical interference. Mm -hmm. One night, about three o'clock in the morning, I was awoken when this light went on, on its own. It had never worked before, and it had never actually worked after. Unexplained drafts in the property. Hmm. This keyhole, my daughter was peeking through it one day. She saw a shadow and a rushing gust of wind. It actually set her back about three feet. I was standing behind her. She almost knocked me over. So, I'll show you the drawings. This is the lady. You know when I said I could see somebody in, like, period clothing? In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their investigation. She's got a really nice face, though. I like yeah. her. I like it's her. It's like she just... Yeah. What's it called? All my drawings are females, and yours are mainly males. Maybe I'm going to be seeing things from a female perspective, and you're going to be seeing males. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this one, I tell wow. you. I hope that the rescue mediums can tell me who is still in this house, what did really happen. Uh -uh. Jackie and Alison are the rescue mediums. <laughs> Psychics who make house calls. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi, Chris. I'm Alison. Alison, well, pleased to meet you. you. In the mansion's drawing room, the rescue mediums sit down to present their premonitions. The time of 3.30 or 3.33 being important in some way. Oh, yes. Is it really? Yes. Oh, wow. I keep waking up at that time and it's... Yes, I do too around right here. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Annie or Anne? Oh, yes. Stephanie. That's my youngest daughter. She has seen something in this house. The name of Sonia. Oh, <gasps> the 
That's my daughter. That's your daughter. That is amazing. Mm. Okay. Sonia's not such an usual name. Mm. Door shutting on their own. Yeah, we have a door shutting on its own. Okay. A lady in spirit who has been seen, felt, or heard. Yes, I have seen a lady here. And this is the lady oh. in the... Yeah, that's the lady I see. Oh. That's amazing. What is the significance of this lady in spirit? She's quite frantic, isn't she? Oh. And will the rescue mediums find her? <sighs> the rescue mediums are investigating a bed and breakfast in the town of Whitby, where many of the guests have no need for breakfast or a bed. A lady in spirit. I have seen somebody in this room. Look at this, isn't it lovely? It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. Got all the grounds. Mm, you can smell freshly cooked grass, mm. can't you? And... Their investigation begins outside on the home's ample grounds. Ezra Ann's house. And you've got Anne on the premonition. Oh, I have. Oh, God. Annie or Anne. Almost immediately, a premonition is made manifest. I feel like I should be marching up to this. I've got that marching feeling. I've just got Henry. Henry. Alison connects to an otherworldly message. Sure, I've just seen somebody there. Oh, just walking past this window. Yeah. Having caught a glimpse of the female spirit, the rescue mediums return inside the home to investigate. Hello. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, <laughs> <my> frog. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a majestic frog. <laughs> they begin in the basement. This left ear, as soon as I walked in here, was buzzing. Yeah. I've just got somebody saying, it's a long way from Tipperary, but singing it, you know, like Honestly. you got the marching before. An old war melody sings out to Jackie. So we need to go back upstairs. The rescue mediums move to the main floor to search out the mansion's countless rooms for more clues. Ooh. There's a different feel in the atmosphere in here. It's a Do different you know, it's density. It's like I feel and going way back. In here. In this In this part. Room. I've got palpitations as well. You know when your heart skips a beat? Yeah. And it makes you, oh, like that. Hmm. When we were outside, I got that image of a lady walking across, didn't I? It was coming from here and going wow. like that. Let's go and have a look in there, cos that's where she was going. Oh, Jackie. I've got a deja vu Day. feeling. Yeah. Can I hope to God that? that's you holding my arm. It is. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Did you not hear that? No. That cry? No, I didn't. It was like a child's cry. No, I didn't hear that. But I felt the energy shift. Yeah. As the energy begins to shift... Do you know I rather like this staircase? The rescue mediums ascend the staircase to the second floor. Should we check this one out? I think we should check it out. I do too. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's funny. You can see somebody marching up and down. Somebody younger, with a bag over his shoulder. Mm. Oh, 
my head. But it's like over my eye. I feel very odd in here, Alice. Here, the psychic assault becomes too strong. Yeah, let's get out. Yeah. Let's go. Jackie and Alison return to the main floor to ground their energy. So who are you? They summon the female and male spirits forward. <laughs> I can see a lady crying. She's walking about. She's pacing. She's quite frantic, isn't she? I can definitely feel somebody around me. I can see, like, a hard hat. Is it a tin hat? Like war, like a war. Yeah. Another premonition comes true. Maybe I'm going to be seeing things from a female perspective and you're going to be seeing males. Strong feelings with this. She's crying. Get away, I want it to end. Coming up. It looks like a grave. She's grieving. A soldier's pain and a woman's past collide in the house of Ezra Ann. Oh, no. Not all the guests at this bed and breakfast will be checking out. The rescue mediums have met two otherworldly spirits. She's quite frantic, isn't she? A lady spirit who wanders the halls. Strong feelings with this. And a lurking, troubled male spirit. <sighs> Alison has established contact with the male spirit. Oh, my God. The noise. But the visions she is receiving are disturbing. Just hearing the oh. battle that's going on. Take it away, I want it to end. Sensing the misery within which the male spirit is trapped. Tell him to think about something pleasant to take the noise away. Jackie and Alison prepare for an immediate rescue. Happy moment. I can hear music. I can hear Robert. The rescue begins. He's holding ladies' hands. Him to walk with a lady. I'll shut the door. Wow. Oh my god, that was really strong. Gosh. Those feelings. Who was the lady? I don't know, but he was in love with her. Oh. I don't know. So he's definitely that was really... he's died in a war war condition, hasn't he? <sighs> I'm assuming so. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <sighs> Victory is a soldier's soul saved, but the energy within this home is still heavy and troubled. Jackie and Alison unite and hunt for the female spirit. Oh, well, my legs felt all wobbly then again. Mm. Coming here. Feels a bit different in here, doesn't it? Something's just touched my leg. Oh. Well, she's gone past Walking. you again then, hasn't she? Yeah, where did she go? I don't know. Is it that way? It was. Right. I've just seen something being thrown on the floor, like, over a grave. I've just had an image of a lady just walk straight across there. The rescue mediums follow the elusive female spirit, landing them in the epicenter of the home's supernatural activity. I want somebody brush past my face. Yes, that's her, she's walking around. Mm. There's something wrong with her leg. Her leg's painful. This would have troubled her for some time. She's grieving. She, right. That's why she's crying. She's lost somebody she's lost really somebody. dear to her. 
Jackie and Allison form a physical bond to intensify their psychic link. Oh no. There was a lot of heartache. She lost a lot of people. She was a long time on her own. Oh, she's seeing others. Several spirits emerge from the light, offering help. But yes. she can go to them now. She's going. The rescue begins. Oh, she's linking arms. Oh. Going through. <laughs> Next. She was showing the morning she was failing. The rescue mediums present their findings to the homeowner and compare them to independent research. We now know who our soldier was. Oh, you stuck. Yeah. The rescue mediums are investigating this historical mansion where they encountered two spirits. One, a troubled male presence. The noise. The other, an elusive lady spirit. Oh, no. Both of whom the ladies were able to show into the light. Jackie and Allison sit down with the homeowner to present the results of their investigation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tell you exactly what we found. Oh we're going to do this between us. I could hear like really loud bangs and really loud noises, and it was a really strong male presence around me. Well, we didn't know um, where, at that point whether he died in a war condition, whether he was just experiencing that moment again, and because oh. it had been so horrific. Oh, you was stuck. Take it away, I want it to end. We now know who our soldier was, the pastor spirit. Oh. Our soldier was <gasps> Robert George Langford. I can hear Robert. Robert George Langford, born March the 14th, 1893, served his country in the First World War. He moved to Whitby in 1944, and in 1960, he purchased the property on which this home now sits. When he sold the property, he moved the house to the property he acquired on Wellington Street. He was trying to get the local people or some to buy it to turn it into a museum because he really felt that the house should be preserved. Nobody came forward, nobody wanted to buy it, and I think he was so afraid of it being demolished, he actually decided to move it, the whole house. The rescue mediums believe that Langford cared so deeply for the house that he returned after his death, a soldier spirit standing guard to protect and preserve it. We've got some fabulous photographs of the house actually being moved. Mm. But what of the lady spirit? Jackie and Alison believe she was connected to the historic house through her husband. This particular house was built by Ezra Annis that we thought was Anne's. Anne's <laughs> or Anne. Right. But it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Ezra had a son. His eldest son was called Henry. And Alison gave the name of Henry That's while we were right. walking around. I've just got Henry. Henry Warren Anne's was the son of Ezra Anne's former mayor of Whitby, and the man who first built and lived in this house. The home's many rooms and ample grounds would have served as Henry's playground. Henry uh, married Charlotte Frances Howard. Charlotte was the lady we took through to the light, Henry's oh. wife. Charlotte Frances Howard was born on August the 14th, 1831. In 1859, she married Henry Warren Annes. This archival photograph shows Charlotte with Henry and bears an uncanny resemblance to Jackie's psychic drawing. They would have lived in the home for many years, but few of them were happy ones. They had three children. The firstborn, the son, died when he was nine days old. Charlotte was unable to recover from the death of her firstborn. 
She stayed in mourning for the rest of her natural life. Mourning also for uh, the death of her husband, Henry. She was a widow a long time. She was on her own for a long time. She was a long time on her own. When Henry died on January the 15th, 1886, Charlotte chose not to remarry, remaining a widow for the next 39 years. Jackie and Alison believed that it was her maternal heartbreak which kept her in the physical realm and that only the appearance of her family convinced her to cross over. She was actually nearly 94 when she died. Oh, good and healthy. Yeah, she died of toxemia caused by an ulcerous leg. She got oh gangrene gosh. from the oh ulcer. Dear. There's something wrong with her leg. She was very involved in uh, politics, in, in uh, what went on in, in the area. According to her obituary, she was always active in church, church activities and public matters. See the strong links between the two people that we, that we rescued, yes. that were sent over to the yes. light. So they, they weren't the same family, but the link mm. was the land and the house. So there you go. Wow. There Thank you, you so much, ladies. The home now clear and free. The rescue mediums bid farewell to the homeowner and they find a little time to ponder the case. Wasn't it interesting, this one? Oh, it was really interesting. Almost perfect, the yeah. setting, particularly the house and our here. Yeah. And what a strong link between the two with the clues that we had. Very strong link. Isn't that a lovely frog pond? Yeah, it is, yeah. Do you know how deep a frog pond is, Alison? I don't actually know. Needy, needy, needy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.